Are we still breathing like a, a quarter horse that we run through water? Are you sure you don't want to go? No, for God's sakes, no. Why are you so afraid of dogs? Because I don't need them. What happened is nothing at all. It happens frequently to me. A thought disturbs me, an adrenaline pumps in my veins, and I get short-winded. That's all. That's all there is to it. I woke up. I didn't know where I was and who I was with, and I got panicky. Adrenaline was released, and I got short-winded. <coughs> I will be. You're full of complexes, you know? Plump lady. What did you call me? Plump lady. Why did you call me that? Have I ever told you I hate you? Well, you put up a good deal of weight since you had that disappointment last month. What disappointment? I don't remember any. Can you control your memory like that? Yes, I've had to learn. What place is this? Is this a hospital? And you, what are you? A male nurse? <laughs> I take care of you. But I'm not a nurse. <laughs> oh, but you're employed by me for some purpose or other. I'm not on salary with you, Princess. What are you on? Just expenses. You're putting the bill. Yes, I see. I see. Why are you rubbing your eyes? Condition is so cloudy. Oh. Don't I don't I wear glasses? Don't I have any glasses? You had a little accident with them. What was that? You fall on your face with them on. Oh. Were they completely demolished? One lens was cracked. Oh. Well, please give me the remnants. I don't mind waking up in an intimate situation with someone, but I would like to see who it is so I can make whatever adjustments seem called for. Do you remember what I look like? No, I don't. Oh, yes, you did. And I tell you, I don't. It's all gone away. Well, neither do I, but you have to believe in a thing that happens to you. Where did I put your glasses, princess? Don't ask me. You say I fell on them. If I were in that condition, I wouldn't likely know where anything was I had with me. What happened last night? You knocked your cell phone. Did we sleep together? Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. Should I thank you for that or accuse you of cheating? You know I like you. You are my friend. You sound young. Are you young? My age is 29. Well, that's old enough for anybody but an Arab. <laughs> are you very good looking? Well, I used to be the best looking boy in this town. How large is the town? Fair <laughs> size. I like a good mystery novel. I need them to put me to sleep, and if they don't put me to sleep, they are very good. But this one is a little too good for comfort. May I please have my glasses? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I may have done better, but God knows I could have done worse. Why are you doing that? Kind of approach. Well. You do that like you're feeling a piece of food. If it was genuine, still good phone. 
Oh, it feels like silk. Genuine. But this much I do remember that I like my body to be smoothy, silk, and gold. Do I meet his requirements? Well, you seem to meet those requirements. But I get the feeling that there's something not satisfied in a relationship between us. Well, you have your experience. And I've had mine. You can't expect everything to be settled at once. Two different people. Two different experiences. And naturally, there is something between them that needs to be settled before there is any absolute agreement. Switch it turns out before it gets in my eye. You like to get working, don't you? Well, it's something I seem to be used to. How would you like to take them? Yes, ladies. What time is it? I want to be in a hall Why don't you move it here? Where's mine? Stop the five percent. Oh, it has to be earlier later. Thank you. 